All right, Poochie boy. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the vlog. Well, I look like I've got a red nose, don't I? Anyway, <laughs> a bit of a digression. <laughs> uh, today's job is being done because I had an accident yesterday. You probably not see it, but on one of my arms somewhere, I can't even remember where it is, I've got a massive bruise. That's because whilst I was installing the fly zapper up there, can you see it? It is up there. There it is, look. Uh, hello? Delivery distraction there. Anyway, so while I was installing that uh, fly zapper, I had to put, I had to run another cable up there so I can plug it in, of course. And that meant running it behind the metal rack that I've got on that side wall. And this fell on me. Yeah. 10 foot scaffolding pole, straight off the top rack. So I'll show you where it came from. So I'm up there, of course, pulling a cable for that socket there that you can see. Let me get around all this junk. It's a bit of a bit of a, a death trap, really. So yeah, let me come up on the on here. So I'm running this cable along this box gutter to come down the wall here and into that switched socket there, just there. I don't know if you can see it better there. And as I'm pulling the cable, the cable sort of got around these scaffolding poles here and rolled them rolled them forwards and as that rolled forward it fell off and I was stood down there thankfully it didn't hit me on the head otherwise I would have been out cold and thankfully it was the only one that fell off so I didn't really want them up here but when we had that chap Adrian doing a little bit of work for us he put all this on here for me to get it off the floor you might recall it was under this deck anyway long story short we're moving it all off. I don't like it. Seems a little bit dangerous. Even this timber here, look, I've just spotted. You see it's hanging off the rack there on the end. So, in the interest of safety, all this needs to be reorganized. I only really want to have a little bit of steel on here at any one time. And the only reason I put it here in the first place is because these lengths come in 6.2 meters and this is the only area where I had that much of a spare wall if you like and quite frankly it isn't spare wall I could use it for something else anywho any road up as our Jim used to say we've decided to go into the backyard the doors closing on its own well that's the ghost uh, yeah so for two years now since we moved in I've been throwing all the spare timber and any other junk that I get out the back here in this little triangular yard that we've got. This is where we've got the heat dump for the cold rooms. There's the back of the piano, if you remember the piano that we took apart when we cut the strings. Here's all the offcuts of the stainless steel sheet, some pallets and a ton of breeze blocks that we had left over from doing things such as this structural pillar for that roof beam or floor beam and also we blocked up a window out there just behind the boil kettle but we overbought too many blocks oh, there's that ghost again so the plan is uh, or the plan was all that timber I was throwing out, out here <clears throat> frog in my throat now well I was hoping to get a log burner in last year during the winter because it was that damn cold but I couldn't really find anywhere to sling a flue maybe up out here somewhere but next door you see we've got a carpet shop and they don't like the smoke because obviously it makes all their carpets smell so I think we're gonna knock the idea of a wood burner on the head for now and we're just gonna scrap all this timber I've been hanging on to it I've been dipping in if I need to you know a little bit of scrap wood for a project but quite frankly it's a massive waste of space out here so what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna take those perspex sheets over there on the back and we're gonna kind of tie them up along these two random poles 
<clears throat> which I don't know what they're for. And we're going to use that as a like a little shelter almost. And we'll put those racks on this wall out here and we'll store our metal and timber and scaffolding out here in this little yard away from kids running around and away from my head so frankly it doesn't fall on it anymore and of course I'm taking all the credit for this but uh, I'm not going to be doing all the work Gemma's in with me today so while I'm brewing a fantastic beer the vacant there you go there's the mash in action then it's Gemma's job to move all that timber bless her and load it all into the back of the van so Stuart can cart it away to the recycling centre quite a job for her anyway she's vanished I can't seem to find her since I told her what she was doing don't know where she's gone it's almost like she's avoiding the job well the pump is on because we're chilling so I've spent all day whilst I've been waiting for the brew to happen tipping these tanks on their backs and obviously getting all the rest of the foam on there we've got one more tank to do one more tank and looking at this lot Gemma has on her own filled this van up you're going to have a blinding time emptying it at the other end aren't you my love I'm not doing it today no I know <laughs> He's not helped at all. Lazy tow rag. So, another brew done. This is the last tank, by the way, that I've got a clad. I might get it done today. I might do. I'm not in a rush, though. I've had a steady day. Uh, I'll tell you what. This is looking a hell of a lot more spacious all of a sudden. Check it out. Well, I've not seen the bottom of this since we moved in. Brilliant. So, uh yeah a little bit more uh, timber to get rid of you watch the nails Gem look at that hey tetanus injection waiting to happen there I, know, I, know. I can't tell you last time I had a tetanus injection no I, I can tell you when I had one so there's some bricks I'll probably keep these bricks this is an old fire bin that we bought when we moved in and it can go to the tip now because it's obviously it's wrecked yeah, it's, it's strange, isn't it? I mean, so much space out here. There's quite a bit of room out there. There is a bit of room when you get rid of all that rubbish. So uh, we'll be able to do do something with this. If nothing else, it'll be a nice little bit of storage for us to utilise. There's the drain look for the cold room. If anyone was curious, it's that black pipe and dripping away. So that gets rid of all the condensation that comes out of the drip trays that are in the cold room it works an absolute charm anyway little update there folks we're about to transfer so my job now is just give this tank one final rinse with water it's as simple as this pipe up pump on and there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up with paracetic acid Recirculate that for 10 minutes, dump it out, put the beer in. And while we're chilling as well, just have to make sure that we've isolated the condenser flu. So you can see the last bits of warm water coming out. It really isn't a lot of water over a brew day. You can see the speed that that's coming out of the condenser so we don't lose that much in an hour maybe about 60 70 liters so we're just going to wait for this to hit 80 degrees C and then we can put our beautiful mosaic hops in there oh you're beauty right we've got music crashing the audio bit of absolute rock folks so there we go. Sorry about the crazy camera moves there. So Gemma's about to shoot off and pick the kids up. Isn't that right, buddy? Uh, I've loaded the back of the car 
because as soon as I finish the transfer, which is happening there, I'm off to help a fellow home brewer put a French door in, because that's what I used to do for a living. So in the back of the car, you might be able to see, we've got some fitting tools. Yes, so we're gonna be doing that very shortly. So Gem, I'll be up home, I think, for about five-ish. Okay. Spot on. So there we go. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the camera out to Alan's house or not. I don't think he's a, a vlogger, a brew tuber, even though he is a brewer and he does get involved with the community a little bit on Facebook. Uh, I don't think it's a camera kind of establishment. So in that case, folks, it's been a good day here at the brewery and we've managed to achieve our goals. So we're going to sign off on a high and we will probably see you maybe Monday if I don't get anything in over the weekend. I may be doing a little bit of cooking though, so uh, we shall see, we shall see. I'm certainly enjoying having a play around with all these Oriental and Asian cuisines. So uh, you might get a sneaky one of them in over the weekend. If not, we'll see you back in the brewery bright and early. Monday morning. Cheers.